Jim Ganser with SportsBubbler.com here in West Dallas at the Milwaukee Mile for this week's IRL races. We're here with Stan Barrett. Stan, how does it feel to be in Milwaukee? A little colder than California? It's a little bit colder, but I love it. Uh, you made the change this year uh, going from NASCAR to the IndyCar races. Uh, how difficult has that change been for you? In some aspects, it's been pretty difficult. In others, it's been uh, pretty smooth selling, and it's been a lot of fun. The Indy cars are a really exciting uh, series to watch, and the cars are awesome to drive, and uh, the speeds, everything. I love going to the street courses, and I'm sure I'm going to love coming here. I sure like running this place in a stock car. What's the, uh, what's the toughest part about that transition? I think just figuring out what the cars need uh, to go fast. There's always tricks in whatever car you get into, different styles of cars. There's always little things that are a little bit different that you have to do. And once you learn those, you know how to manipulate the car to get the speed that you want. So just learning that kind of stuff primarily and, and getting the crew to get the right setups in the car and figure out what we need to do. Because uh, that's the toughest part for a driver is just driving, you know, getting a setup in a car that works. And, sure. and that's kind of all in the crew. So they can either make your life really easy and fun or really miserable. Uh, I understand, you know, uh, off-season, a lot of people do different things. Off-season, you're a Hollywood stuntman. Have you uh, been in movies like, uh, I don't know, Tommy Boy, maybe uh, Caddyshack or, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Wedding Crashers? Not, yeah, all those are those big action films like that. <laughs> yeah. What movies have you been in? Uh, yeah, I've been a, in a couple hundred actually. I, the most recent is like Race to Witch Mountain. Uh, I think that's the most recent one that's been out. And Zoan, did Dukes of Hazard, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, all the Spider Mans, Jurassic Parks, Nighty Professor, Blade, Batman, Dante's Peak, Volcano. You've been in Batman? Yeah. You meet Adam West? No. You know, he's now the mayor of Quahog, Rhode Island. Really? Yeah. How's he doing with it? Uh, he's uh, he's out there. He's out there. Um, you know, obviously, a bad career move. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, a uh, a difference, but both thrilling things. What's more exciting, uh, doing stunts in a movie, or uh, driving a race car? You know, I just love competing. So you know, driving a race car for me is the most exciting. Although you know, if I never got to drive a race car, being on a movie set and the things that we did do on a movie set and all the. Uh, it's very complicated too being on a movie set and all the things that are encumbered with doing stunts and all the action that's involved in filming it's that's a really exciting job i love doing it so you know if i couldn't do one or the other it wouldn't be the end of the world because they're both really exciting for me i understand uh, you grew up in both uh, your father was a racer and a stuntman as well yeah, my dad was more of a stuntman, and then he became a racer, and that kind of introduced me to the sport. We never were around it because we lived in California, and we moved to Charlotte while he ran uh, the Cup cars in 1981, and then he moved back and did a little bit in the 90s, so or late 80s. And I never was around racing like Dale Earnhardt Jr. was. I was around movies and, and extreme sports and skiing and motocross. That was kind of my life, so I was kind of removed from auto racing. Just like when I was 16, go ah. My brother, maybe we, maybe we should drive cars, and that's what we went out and did. It had to be exciting being around the movie business, and I understand even uh, Paul Newman was your godfather. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was really exciting. We didn't know a lot better, though. You know, it was normal to go to the movie set and hang out on Fall Guy, or go see them build, uh, you know, Jaws, and have Paul Newman come and babysit you, or go over to Burt Reynolds' house and swim in his pool. You know, John Wayne coming over <laughs> visiting my dad. So there was a. Uh, you know, a different lifestyle for sure, but when you grow up around it, you don't know any better. That's just, you figure everybody does that. When uh, when you'd go over to Paul Newman's house, would he always force you to eat that saccharini sauce? Uh, no, but he loved to cook, and I, I'm a big uh, cook myself, and it, it, it's kind of, was both of our pastime, and uh, it was always fun to hang out with him and cook different stuff and make salad dressings, and he's a heck of a good cook. And uh, What's your I, favorite I like thing to cook? I like the... I like to cook everything. I'm, I'm kind of a crazy chef. Uh, I'm known with all my friends as the gourmet chef. And I have some pretty great great recipes. My salad dressing is everybody's favorite. I cook a, a really good chili and sea bass. It's pistachio crusted chili and sea bass with a, a raspberry liquor reduction that everybody's kind of pretty fond of. But uh, I just, I don't know, I just go to the store, buy a bunch of stuff, lay it out, and go what I'm going to do with it. Just get an <laughs> idea in your head and run with it, right? Yeah, and uh, it's inspired by the guests I entertain. All righty. Well, we look forward to seeing you here uh, this weekend. You know, fans can come out to the mile on Saturday and get autographs, come out Sunday for the races, and look for Stanton Barrett. Yeah, you guys definitely have to come out. Uh, this track always has great, exciting races, and um, it'll be a fun time watching these cars go 190 miles an hour down the straightaway. All right, beautiful. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.